Okay, Pam, could you first perhaps just tell us about the genesis of this particular age exchange show? How did you choose this particular topic? How did you go about researching that material? Well, it's 40 years since the war, and we thought it was the right time to do a show based on memories of the war. And we know from going around doing other shows that people's memories of the wartime years are particularly sharp. And it seemed a good subject to choose. Um, how we went about it, we went back and visited a lot of people we already knew and talked to them about their wartime memories specifically. Also, we made contact through the local papers and so on. Um, with others who were willing to contribute their stories. And we compiled um, a large number of stories and handed them over to Joyce Holiday to make a script out mm -hmm. of. Why did you end up deciding to focus in on the women's experience in the war as opposed to perhaps general experience? What led to that decision? Um, I think the feeling that uh, men's wartime experience had been pretty well documented and there was actually very little written on women's wartime experience, and we felt it was important to reflect that. Uh, also, the majority of the audiences we play to are women, and it was obviously of great interest to them to be able to show back to them some of their experiences. What sort of reaction have you had, in fact, taking the show around, and uh, how much have people really identified their experience in it? I think people have identified very, very strongly, I and mean, there's been a constant chorus of, I remember that, and yes, that's true, and that happened to me, constant affirmation of what we're saying by the audiences. And response has been very, very positive and very, very strong. Um, we've also had quite interesting responses from youngsters. We've been performing for schools and, and colleges and also for general audiences, and there's a lot of interest in um, women's role as explored through the play and through people's experiences during the war. Mm -hmm. What do you see, in a way, as being the, the purpose for the people who are giving you the material for a work like this, as opposed to, obviously, it's a great fund of information and research for you. You can use them in that way. How do you think they can get a use out of you in that situation? Well, I think, perhaps, when people see their own story, set in the context of a piece of theatre, uh, perhaps it gives them a sense of perspective on, on their own experience. I know that most of the people who have participated in the projects enjoy the process of seeing how their memory becomes dramatised, but I think it's a bit more than that. It's also how it becomes celebrated and more widely shared and enjoyed with other audiences and that business of stepping back from their own experience and seeing it played out by somebody else mm -hmm. in the context of lots of other people's experiences. And I think for a lot of people that is perhaps quite an unnerving experience initially, but a, a very enjoyable and enriching one. Mm -hmm. How do you find it as a director when you're actually having to direct scenes which really took place and the people who were the protagonists of those scenes originally had their hair to to look at them. Um, how does this affect the way you're, you're going about directing a, a piece of theatre? Well, it, it's tremendously useful to have the source on hand as a, as a corrective and uh, people there to say how it should be done and how it was. And I think it's not only helpful for me as a director, but also for the actors. And the actors have had direct tuition, if you like, from mm -hmm. the people whose p parts they are having to play. And I think they, on the whole, seem to find that rather, rather a good and refreshing way to work because mm -hmm. they, they're getting feedback, instant feedback on their portrayals, not only from the characters they're playing directly, but also from the other people to whom they're playing. They do get more feedback than in almost any other form of theatre. Mm -hmm. what, what, what would you say to people who said, well, yes, it's all very nice and entertaining, but it, it really is a nostalgia kick and that's about all, would you argue those? Um, Something more, I think you would. But well, I <laughs> think I would. <laughs> I think <laughs> I'd argue that uh, it's, it's very important to record the experience of ordinary people, uh, not just those who are able to write their own memoirs or who feel they have a, a story which is important because they were 
important. Um, I don't think it's really nostalgia because um, a lot of the stories, nostalgia implies that it would all be a sort of rather protected, protective approach to the past. Mm -hmm. And in fact, some of the moments of the past that we unearth and expose are actually quite hard and, and sharp and quite painful for the people who watch them. And I think it's an unearthing process which it's very important to, to promote so that ordinary people feel that their own past is, is expressed in what we do and that you don't have to be a rear admiral, a rear admiral or a general to mm -hmm. get your history mm. recorded and, and shared. So you'd see actually there is actually a, a, a sort of broad political stance underneath the, the use of this type of material. Very then. much so. I and mean, we're um, constantly being asked why we don't do shows on um, the experience of the middle classes and the upper classes. And on the whole, I think it's because we do feel that the area that we reflect um, is not well reflected elsewhere and that it means more to the people we play to. We actually take the theatre shows to our audiences rather than playing to a regular theatre-going audience. Mm -hmm. And that means we have to be very sure that what we do reflects their own experience and captures their interest. And it's more likely to do so if, it, if it's something which rings bells and recalls their own, their own life history. Mm -hmm. okay. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.